Loyalty is the biggest thing that aches the most. Loyalty is telling someone when they're wrong, but then supporting their decision anyway. Loyalty is believing in someone steadfastly, even when no one else does. Loyalty is taking someone's hand just before they leap off the cliff. Loyalty stays the same, whether someone wins, loses, or draw. Loyalty is the opening the door for someone and letting them inside time and time again, even when it hurts. Loyalty is the courage to stay by someone's side, even when everyone else has run. Loyalty is losing everything except for that which you hold most dear. Loyalty is believing. It's faith in another. And there is nothing more risky. And there is nothing more worthwhile. Loyalty. Always having one's back, no matter what. Follow and support. Just because. Loyalty is a tough thing in this world. It's needed. Can we have it without respect? Do they go hand in hand? Do you have to have both to have one? Loyalty for the dictionary is a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Loyalty in layman's terms is knowing someone has your best interest at heart. Even when those interests run counter to what you think you desire, but truly don't. Loyalty is knowing someone has your best interests at heart. We see them all over movies, literature, TV. Maybe it's Kirk and Spock, Snoopy and Woodstock, Bond and Money Penny, Need I say, Batman and Robin. These are not just sidekicks. This is not one inferior to another. This is loyalty. It can be built in any type of relationship, whether work relationship, friendship, business partners, romantic relationship, teacher, student. All of these relationships build and thrive off loyalty and respect. Without them, the relationship will be known. Loyalty will not permit envy, hate, and uncharitableness to creep into our public thinking. Bainbridge Colby. Let's take a lurking relationship. The business, the employer, needs loyalty, thrives off loyalty. Maybe you take a pay cut to to keep the business running. Maybe your loyalty will keep you at the job every day, working hard, earning that dollar, doing it for the company. Because you believe in the company. To be a leader, you can't do it without respect. A good leader always has the respect of his followers. And you also need that loyalty. In many cases, when the leader doesn't have that respect and loyalty, the group overruns the authority of the leader. With that respect, one can lead thousands. Without it, one can't even lead to. Take a romantic relationship. Loyalty goes far beyond fidelity or even compatibility. But it is essential for longevity. Any relationship that is healthy and long living does not go without loyalty. Is it that loyalty that keeps? couple together.
knowing that your partner always has your best interests at heart. When one person knows, despite mistakes, we're all human, happens. Maybe you thought, maybe you didn't know your best, what you thought was your best interest of your partner. You didn't know, but you did it anyway. Despite mistakes and missteps, the parson knows that the other is truly loyal. That is what lasts. There's a fair amount of self-sacrifice and loyalty that usually and often goes unremarked, as it should. Loyalty doesn't seek overt recognition, not give to get. True loyalty is a tacit agreement of respect. It is knowing that there's nothing someone else close to you says or does toward you that is not out of love. That love is never gone. Do you might not like each other one day? Do you have a fight? Do you disagree? Do you argue? Sure, that's going to happen all the time. But that Loyalty keeps that love, and that is earned with respect.